Hey, what's up everybody? It's El Moody Foodie and today I'm making fluffy keto pancakes. Now these pancakes are not a keto substitute. They will be your new favorite pancakes. They're absolutely delicious. Our kids go for them every single time. Now let's make them. First things first, that almond flour and coconut flour, you wanna mix in a blender and get nice and small grains. Sometimes they tend to clump up, especially if you keep them in the fridge, which I suggest you do. So take that spatula, work the sides and keep blending. So there you see super fine almond and coconut flour. Now we have one and a quarter cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of coconut flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two packs of sweet and low. Now for the wet ingredients, four eggs, half a cup of whole fat yogurt, one third cup of heavy cream, one fourth cup of canola oil or any light colored oil, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now keep in mind, this is a base recipe for these delicious pancakes. You can add coconut extract, orange extract, coconut flakes, you can add dark chocolate, whatever you want to this mix, but this is a great start. It will give you a delicious, fluffy pancake every time. So now everything's super easy from here. Add all the ingredients, make sure everything makes it into that blender. Again, this is something that once you blend it up, you can keep for about three days in the fridge. Actually, I find the batter to be more delicious the second and third day that it's been in the fridge. So now blend all the ingredients together until everything gets incorporated and it's nice and smooth. You don't want any chunks. You wanna look down in there and it to be a nice, thick liquid. Check out that consistency. Some air has gotten into the batter, which is good. You see that it's nice and thick. It's not too thick, but it's not runny either. After this, set it in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes before you make your first batch. Or if you want to, pre-make it for the next day and it'll be even better. Now to cook these things is super simple. Get your skillet or your griddle nice and hot. Drop a tablespoon of butter. And then depending on how big you want your pancakes, get a big ladle, a small spoon, a medium-sized ladle, just scoop your batter up from your batch and drop it on the grill. You want to make sure that griddle is nice and hot and you'll see that your edges will start to cook up super quick. Now as soon as you drop these on the griddle, you want to set the timer for a minute and 30 seconds. At a minute and 30 seconds, that pancake should be nice and bubbly and ready to flip. Now as soon as you see those bubbles start to form and pop, that's when you know your pancake is ready to flip. So this is something I like to do with my spatula just to make sure that the pancake is going to all flip together at the same time and not fall apart on me. I take the spatula and just run it in a circle on the bottom of the pancake. So check out this pancake here. You see that on this edge there are no bubbles, but on the other edge it's nice and crisp and starting to bubble up. That means that I'm not getting even heat on this pancake. So sometimes what I do is scrape my spatula underneath and turn the pancake around so that the bubbles start to come up evenly. Now as you can see I'm kind of struggling with this spatula here because it's about the size of my pancake. You always want to make your pancakes just a little bit smaller than your spatula because then it's easy to get under and flip. Now let's check out that pancake that's been struggling to cook. I'm gonna flip it over and you'll see that where the bubbles were is nice and crispy. I'm gonna dig into it so you can see that it's cooked all the way through. But check out that side I'm pointing at. It's a little undercooked. And we knew that before we flipped it because that part of the pancake was not bubbling up, which indicates it's time to flip. But you see the part that was bubbling up, nice and cooked all the way through. You put this pancake back together. Now just flip your pancake once. When you do that first initial flip, set your timer for 30 seconds because that pancake is almost done. Now you can see what 30 seconds does to the other side. Absolutely beautiful. You can see how amazing this batter is. The pancakes will be fluffy and crisp. They'll be super moist on the inside. Everything you want from a pancake. Again, these are not a keto substitute. These will be your new favorite pancakes.